happy you could join me on this beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got going on here today is I went ahead and painted a deer on here. Drew it out first. Then I took ceramic paint, painted it all the areas that I thought uh, the way it should look. What I'm going to do now is put a scene behind it. And any information and all the colors you'll need to paint along with me will come across the screen right about here. This is pre-stretched canvas 16 by 20. I covered the whole thin portion with all liquid white. So let's start out and we'll put some sky in. I use a two inch brush. We'll start out with some dark color. Halo blue, Prussian blue, midnight black, just like that. Just in the corners. Maybe along the top. More blue. sunset. So I'm going to take some oranges. Red, yellow. Load it up on a fan brush. Maybe we'll have something happening in here. in and blend this blend this out maybe here there'll be a little bit more red redder out here Take the blender brush, start out from the middle, kind of blend it in, blend it out. The way I think it might look, that middle part just the way it is. Come back into the blender brush.
maybe a little bit more red out here more red out here the yellow then red circular motions some spots and lights lighter areas maybe it comes right across who knows it's your world trees over here. But we're going to blend this in first. Get this blended down where the horns are. For the antlers, take a filbert brush, that kind of blends it in. fan brush off. It's a good one to use. It's kind of small. It gives you that look of the evergreen trees that I'm looking for. Maybe we'll add a little bit of white to it. some ground ground cover back here this is all going to be hilly maybe we'll see what we got going on here maybe it comes right down all I'm doing is tapping hilly area. Maybe
put some evergreen trees back there. I'm going to tap this though. Get as close as I can. I can to it. We'll shade this in and you'll get all the different colors happening back here. Kind of the only problem with doing this, you put the, the animal in first. Now we'll put some trees. We'll make it a little, we'll make it evergreen trees. doing is tapping. Make the straight line for the trunk of it and just tap your way down. Get all kinds of things. shadows down there. Maybe this distant tree right there. One there. Maybe that's a cluster and maybe there's a gap and maybe there's another one right here. see that with me tapping. Try to put the camera on that right angle. Just like that. Make it a little closer. And then there's one right there. A 
all kinds of different shapes and sizes. Maybe there's one right there. It'd be good to have one right here. Sure, world, you can put them wherever you want, wherever you think they should be. It's exactly where they should be. Let's see if maybe we can put one right here. big one right here. Turn the brush over. Got some on both sides. Got paint on both sides of it. This one here, I think we're going to come down. Right behind it. Right behind the deer. What I'm doing is tapping. bring the land around there. yellows and make it grassy. Make it that grassy look. I'll come and fine tune that in there. Here. 
just filling this all in. Doesn't much matter how it's filled in. Just tap it. Some darker color. We'll fill it in when we use the highlights. And you get to see the lay of the land. How you how bright you want it. fan brush off and go into some of the yellows highlight it do some liquid clear yellow maybe some white titanium white liquid white right up on the brush. Just like that. Just tapping it. Then you can come in and start shading. Different areas. Different areas and where you Where you think it might be hitting. Might be getting that glistening. Just like that. And there. really highlighted right there. You want to leave gaps in between? Because that makes it look like it's hills. Kind of hills flowing. Where you think you might have too much, just tap it and it takes it away. Kind of blends it right in. Get some action going over here. do it on the corner of the brush. Make it look like there's all kinds of brush and stuff happening. What I'm going to do is take a two inch brush, load it up with the yellows. Do the same thing. Kind of go over it.
gives you a different look. And leaving those gaps, even leave some dark things happening. Makes it look like there's shadows. And then some more white, lighter color. And make it pop some. Maybe over here. Comes right down. Maybe right on this edge here. Where it could be hitting. look there. You can almost leave this back here the way it is. of the sky happening. Almost the same way. Maybe down here it'll be white and then it'll be the orange. Just like the sun, the way it looks. Maybe it'll be right in here. we did the sky. Just like that. The blender brush. Like we did the sky. Get it fairly clean.
more blending. off a path there. this area right here. Bring it right up to the deer. Here too, well, since we got the paintbrush going. tuning here. Now, take the fan brush. Clean it off again and get into some maybe some blue so the sky. Kind of put it down here in the water. off when we use the 
kind of fill it in. Want to fill in the water. Get some water color. A little bit more finer detail. And you have to fill in all these, fill in all this area for the water. blender brush some darker blues. We'll highlight right over here. The shadows. Right by the edge. colors.
here and there. Kind of enhancing that look. Where that water's edge would be. Take the fan brush and come in and just pull down. Blender brush, pull down, pull across, kind of diffuse that. This gives the reflection. Come into the palette knife, grab some white, maybe put some water lines here. coming over here and another big evergreen tree there. Go into some more dark colors. Halo green. Sap green. Maybe it's right there. All the way down. Start off the top. Just tapping. Just the way you think it would look. More color. Kind of blending in with this down here. We can get it. We can get it to darken up. Highlight some of this right in here. More fatal green. Maybe there is maybe there's something that comes right over here. see the sky through there. Cover up some of the trees, but that's okay.
like that. Clean your brush off. We'll come into some lighter colors. We'll highlight right underneath that tree we just did. Right here, maybe where the evergreen tree is. some darker colors, the blues, purples. I just want to take this and darken this. Darken this some more. Hair, if you just go down there and pull it off, lift up and it pulls it right off. us a completed painting. Come down here and sign it in the corner. Some people like to use their initials. I like using my last name. I also like putting the year on there. You can see your progress. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a little different. Like I said, I put the deer in there and painted around it. I'm going to be doing more animals the more videos that I make. I hope you're painting along with me, and I hope you come back and see me. Have a nice day.